Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is Rush the Soviet Gamer and I'm back for another part of Let's Play Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers 2. Yes, and uh, this is one of my favorite levels in the game. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely been quite recognizable for me since uh, my early childhood. Whoops, <laughs> better fail that. Yeah, um, yeah, I did really really enjoy it back <laughs> when I was a kid because, uh, well, this level is kind of creepy for a kid. <laughs> I know right now it seems like a bit of a Disney fantasy sort of thing right now, but it certainly <laughs> did leave a long-lasting impression on me since my early childhood. Loads of ghosts everywhere. <laughs> and uh, little door knockers that are knocking all by themselves. <laughs> but yeah, this is nothing comparing to the final boss of the level. I'm not going to spoil anything yet for those of you who haven't seen it. Oh yes, and if you're wondering why I'm dawdling a little bit, it's because I'm trying to avoid uh, something to do with those pictures. <laughs> if I'm unlucky, you might just see it. And I missed that bloody candle. Bit disappointing. Oh well, no big deal. And that's right, those candles can be picked up once you knock them out. And there it is, that's the reason. <laughs> you cannot hide in a box from those things and you cannot kill them. <laughs> now those are some spooky little ghosts. By the way, this little uh, place over here where <laughs> Rocky or Montre is giving me uh, free food. Yeah, if you're playing as a co-op you will get a secret little bonus level in there. But yeah, <laughs> no bonus levels for little me on my own. And this little creepy bugger used to sc <laughs> really really scared the crap out of my friend when I was uh, about what seven years old when I got my first uh, <laughs> dandy or as people in the West know Nintendo Entertainment System. <laughs> yeah. Russians called it Dandy, because, you know, it's a Chinese clone purchased uh, legally by a Russian company. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> we all had to play it in black and white. Because Russian TVs are not compatible with PAL region consoles. So, yeah, black and white. Because uh, Russians uh, had Seikam TVs back in them days. So, pretty much everyone who had an old TV, I mean, older than a TV that was built since 1991, yeah, you were pretty screwed with color coming from anything other than uh, TV aerial. Not even sure if uh, VCR would give you a decent picture. But anyway, enough about that. <laughs> Let's try to kick this monster's butt. I have to admit, he is a little bit creepy. And believe it or not, in black and white, this scene is even scarier. He only has a couple of a couple of attacks. One of them, he just shoots a lightning bolt out of his hand, and the other one, where he just flies over and drops a couple of rocks. One of which he need to pick up in order to kick his butt. Yep, but you must make sure you hit his face though. Otherwise, it doesn't count. So yeah, big bosses begin, and I just got five hit points. Absolutely bloody brilliant. So, this is the end of the level now. A little bit of a cutscene now. We have just shut the urn off the pharaoh. So, yeah, we did it. All ghosts are gone. Fat cat run away, as usual, because he's a big fat pussy. No pun intended. Well, actually, full pun intended. That's right. Big fat pussy. Except I'm allowed to say it now because he is a cat. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good one. I hope I haven't spoiled it for you. Haven't ruined it. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, it's on to the next level now. I really hope you enjoyed this little playthrough. More are coming tonight. 
So please comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next Let's Play of Chippendale Rescue Rangers 2.